Hey, kittens, you seen my rain boots? Mom! <gasps> you can't just take things and fill them with... Ugh, why didn't you ask? Well, you shouldn't be spying on us. Spying? I'll tell you about a spy. Really? I love spy stories. Me too. What's it called? Secret Agent Mouse. Ooh. Once upon a time, there was a secret agent. The name's One. Agent One. Ha! Ha! Hiya! And his latest mission was going to be his most dangerous yet. And I'm going to need help from the Masters of Disguise on this one. Agents Two and Three. Hey! That can be us! Shh! It's a secret. Oh, yeah. Right. Go, go kitty, kitties, kitties, let's, let's go. go. Agents, we just received this video. Hey, Baron Parmesan here. If you don't send me one squabillion dollars by tonight, I will set off my invention that will turn everyone's candy into stinky cheese. <laughs> oh, this is serious. The Baron's evil laboratory is hidden here, behind his cheese counter at the supermarket. Agents, I need you to keep the Baron busy while I sneak into his secret lab, find that device, and turn it off. Got it. And we know just the disguises for this mission. Well... Perfect. See you at the market. Ooh, Agent One's gadget bag. These are cool. Let's borrow them. Sure. We'll give them back to Agent One at the store. Great. We're in. Oh, does Baby want a gadget? Rocket boots? X-ray glasses? Robot arm? Whoopsie. <laughs> Hello? I'm in. It's time. Good day, sir. I'd like to buy some cheese for my grandson. What a cute little fella. Baby like some Emmental? <coughs> Manchego. Yup. Brie? Yeah. Stilton? Hello? Agent 3, I'm trapped like a rat, and all of my gadgets are missing. Oh! Is everything okay? Oh, yes. Will you just watch the baby for a minute? Grandma needs to wee wee. Gloucester. <coughs> Gorgonzola. <coughs> Gouda. I'm sorry, Agent One. We borrowed your gadgets without asking. Toss me the rocket boots. Hurry! Stinking Bishop. Yuck! What was that? Don't you have any plain old cheddar? Hey, you're not a baby. Huh? <laughs> Here are your gadgets. And just in time. No! X-ray glasses! There it is! Oh, that was close. Come on! There was a whole second left. Well, it looks like jail for you, Baron. Then, do you think maybe I could borrow those rocket boots? Polite of you to ask, but no. Processed cheese food, here I come. <laughs> was a funny story. Yeah. Sorry, Mom. We should have asked first. Thanks for saying so, Kit. But don't worry. You can borrow the bear's boots instead. <laughs> go! 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 Where will we go? Who will we be? What will we do? Kit, 
Kittens, it's time for your soccer game. Me and Hoppy are ready. Boing, boing, boing. Hold everything. I can't play the game. I'm missing Cuddly, my good luck cow. All right. While Dad looks for Cuddly, why don't we make up a story together? Yeah, about a cow. Who jumps really high. How high? Over the moon. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a cow named Mama Moo. And she was the greatest jumping cow in the world. Folks would come every month from far and wide to watch Mama Moo jump over the moon. Moo! 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 Your mom's the greatest! Moo! And Mama Moo always landed in style. Ow! I think I hurt my leg. Sorry, but it looks like your moon jumping days are over. Bo, that means on the next full moon, it's your turn to jump over it. Me? Jump over the moon? Wow! But everyone will be watching. I can't do it. Don't worry, Bo. I get a little nervous, too. That's why I have my good lucky ping pong ball. Want to try it? Uh, no, thanks, Mom. I'll get my own lucky ball. With my lucky bouncy ball, I can jump over that stool. OK, not bad. Next. I'll jump over that fence, but I'll need my lucky soccer ball to do that. Ha-ha! <laughs> What's next? Hey! Yes! Ready to jump over the moon, Bo? It's time. Sure, but for that I'll need to add this lucky cannonball. What am I going to do? Wait, if I put them in that airplane, they can fly next to me when I jump over the moon. But who will be the pilots? Kate, we can be the pilots for Bo. Yeah, and fly right next to her with her good luck balls. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, let's go! Pilots Kit and Kate reporting for duty. We'll get these balls loaded up. And you'll have all the luck you need. A ton of it. Your good luck is all loaded. Then let's do this thing. Wish me luck? What for? You got all the luck you need in the back of this plane. I'm gonna make it! Thanks to you and those lucky balls! Don't get carried away. Way to go, Bo! I knew I could do it with these lucky balls by my side. Hey, what are the balls doing here? Sorry, Bo, but they were here the whole time. You mean I made that jump all by myself? You sure did. Amusing! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the story, Mom. Sorry, Kate but I couldn't find your good luck cow. That's okay, Dad. I'm ready for this game. I can play without her. Besides, Peggy will give me all the luck I need. Let's do this thing. Kate, 
You okay? It's almost bleeding. I need a Band-Aid. Oh, I'll get one. Oh, so much pain. Anything else? And strawberry ice cream, please. Ow, my knee. I can't walk. Maybe a story will help. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, ow. I know a good one. It's an almost true story called The Wolfington News. Once upon a time lived Empress Wolfina and her advisor, Sir Sheep-a-Lot. I just love sheep's clothing. Her land spread far and wide, but she had no idea what was happening in her kingdom. You think the Empress knows about our skipping festival? What? We have an Empress? She also had no idea about the weather. What a lovely day! Ugh. What that Empress needs is news. Hey, we can be TV reporters and tell her everything. Sure you can do it with your injuries? Uh, uh, I think so. Go, go kitty kitties, kitties, let's, let's go! go. Empress! We're your new TV reporters. How wonderful! What's a TV? And now, the Wolfington News. Today, Sir sheep -a -Lot had a record-breaking shearing. It's true. All this from one sheep. Mm-hmm. Impressive. That's enough for three sweaters. And then, Sir sheep -a -Lot ate five bowls of grass for lunch. Five? Hmm. Tis a private matter. I love this news. Any more? Uh, good news. The clock tower is now the tallest in the world. Marvelous. Whoa. Is that true? I don't know. I just made it up. Uh, astronauts report Empress Wolfina's teeth are uh, so shiny they can uh, be seen from space. Impossible. Well, I do brush. And, uh, the number six is... Is actually the same as the number nine. <laughs> yes, and doctors say eating too much chocolate is good for you. <gasps> Amazing! Ha! <laughs> Where do you get this news? Tis fishy. If I were emperor, your news would be banished. New news! Sir sheep -a -Lot plans to become new emperor. And ban all news! Oh, tis not so! But it must be true. It's on the news. Lock him up! I'm surprised at you! Tis fake news, Empress! See, my lady? Wait a minute. Six and nine aren't the same? Oh. I don't feel good. <gasps> the royal reporters are fibbers? Exactly. We no longer believe you. You are banished. And so it was. The reporters left town in disgrace. And then suddenly in the distance, they saw... Look! <gasps> we have to warn the Empress! King me! A huge storm's coming! Enough lies! Please, believe us! Your wool, it'll be blown away! Look, it's a lovely... day! Oh no! My wool! The Empress forgave her reporters. You may return under one condition. Kit and Kate will be back with the news once they've picked up the most amazing, softest royal wool ever. It's kinda itchy. What? It is. A bit. Hmm. Great story, Grandpa. You know, I think we should skip the playground today. You two need rest while you're hurt. My knee. It's better. My leg, too. Amazing. I think your story made us all better. It's true! <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, but we're still playing. <sighs> Ow! I, I want everything put away now. He's really mad. It's your fault. Mine? It's your mess. But it was your toy. Ugh. Hey! What's going on? Nothing! Nothing! Hold on, kittens. Where's the Christmas cheer? It's all gone. Huh. Well, I've got a Christmas story that might turn that mood around. I doubt it. Me too. Anyhow, what's it called? The Grumpy Elves. Ugh! One Christmas Eve, Alfred was showing Santa his latest creation. Achoo! What a cute doggy! Oh, that's not all! Achoo! The children will love that! Gather the toy builders! Achoo! Hey, you could be two of Santa's elves. Maybe it'll help you turn that grumpy mood around. I doubt it. Go, go kitty kitties, let's go. Okay, elves, it's toy time. Kid and Kate, you collect the parts. Elvira, you assemble, and I'll paint. Yeah. Remember, happy elves make happy toys. Whatever. There. Thanks. One hover dog. Coming right up. Hmm. Something doesn't seem quite right here. Maybe Kid and Kate gave you a few wrong parts by mistake. Maybe Elvira's just stinky at putting things together. <gasps> stinky? You call this stinky? Just watch. <clears throat> See? I told ya. Ow! Look what you made me do! It's okay, Elvira. Accidents happen. Hey! You splattered us with paint! Newsflash, kittens! I banged my thumb with a hammer! How am I supposed to paint the toy now without any paint? Use your beard! How about I use you? Oh, here comes Santa! Achoo! Alfred, what's going on here? Well, you see, uh... How did this happen? She ruined my beard! They gave me the wrong pieces! Well, we, um... We were in a bad mood. Oh, we can't have that. If you're not careful, a bad mood can spread like a... Like a bad cold. But I know just the trick to turn a stinky mood around. When I'm feeling grumpy, or when I'm feeling blue, I have a silly game I play, and you can play it too. You do a silly dance, and make a silly sound. And pretty soon your stinky mood will start to turn around. When I'm feeling grumpy, or when I'm feeling blue, I have a silly game I play, and you can play it too. A silly dance. Go on, try it! And make a silly sound. Yeah, 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 yeah. And pretty soon your stinky mood will start to turn around. And the elves' stinky mood really did turn around. They worked happily together, making toys for all the good boys and girls until Santa's sleigh was packed up and ready to fly. Ho, ho, ho! Merry! Achoo! And pretty soon your stinky mood will start to turn around. Thanks for turning our stinky mood around, Mom. Hey, Kit, what happens if I press this button on you? I change into a room cleaning robot. Me too. Me three. Now that's how you spread the Christmas spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm a bat. Pretty 
cool, huh? Oh, so that means you can fly? Yeah! Cool, then jump off of there and start flying. I don't feel like flying right now. Huh, maybe you're not a bat. Maybe you're a chicken. Am not. Are too. Bark, bark, bark. You know, Kit, bats do other cool things, like climbing. So climb on down here, and we can make up a story. Okay, about a ghoul? Yeah, who was very cool. And we can call the story The Cool Ghoul. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a really cool ghoul with sunglasses and a rocking band. I'm so cool, I'm so cool. I'm a rocking and a rolling, I'm a real cool ghoul. I got some rocking glasses, I got a rocking band. I'm the coolest ghoul rocking across the land. You know, we'd sound even cooler with a couple of cool guitar players. Hey, that could be us. We're cool. Way cool. Wang! Go, go kitty kitties, kitties let's, let's go. go! Yo, we heard you're looking for some cool guitar players. So, what do you say? Can we join? Can we? Can we? <laughs> of course. If you pass the cool test. What's that? You just have to do whatever cool thing I dare you to. Cool. Let the daring begin. I dare you to go up to my neighbor over there and say, Okay. Yes. Boogity, 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 boo. Hey there, pal. How do you do? How do I do? Just fine, thank you. <laughs> That's good. good. Bye. There, we did it. Are we in? In? The test has just begun. If you're really cool, you'll put your paws in here. I dare you. Don't worry, Kit. Earthworms don't bite. They're harmless. Nothing personal, worms, but it's kind of gross. <laughs> there. Are we in now? Getting closer. Then just tell us what to do. We'll do anything you want. Anything? Then climb over that fence and take an apple from the farmer's tree. I dare you. Wait, this is just stealing. You're right, Kit. What? I thought you were cool. We are, but we don't want to do this. Really? Then here's one last test to prove if you're really cool. I double dare you to fill this anthill with water and then stomp on it. But that anthill, it's their home. I wouldn't want someone to destroy our home. What are you afraid of? I thought you were cool cats. But maybe you're just scaredy chickens. <laughs> We're not afraid. We just don't think it's right to hurt those ants. Yeah, that's not cool at all. Hey, where are you going? I thought you wanted to be in the cool crew. What do you mean? What do I mean? <laughs> I mean, you passed the test. <laughs> it's cool to do things that are fun or silly, but nobody that's cool would ever steal or hurt anyone. Welcome to the cool crew. We're, we're so cool, we're so cool, cool. We're, we're a rockin' and a rollin' with some new cool rules. We got some rockin' glasses, we got a rockin' band. We're the cook 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 cool 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 rockin' across the land. Great story, Dad. Kittens. Back here, Mom. Mom's coming. Act like a monkey bat and do a silly dance for her. We, we dare you. you. <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> Cool! <laughs> <laughs>